Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another video for our Java playlist section. Today we'll start with uh, data types in Java. So without further ado, let's begin. Uh, so from today onwards, the actual uh, core Java is getting started. So guys, please try to focus. I'll, I'll wrap it up fast and not extend it unnecessarily. Okay, so let's begin with what are the different uh, uh, data types in Java. Typically, uh, data types in Java are divided into two categories. The first category is primitive data type. Okay. The second category is, I'll write it down here, as a non-primitive. So in the primitive data type, the ones which include are Boolean, uh, the char, byte, short, int, double, long. In case of non-primitive data types, you have uh, classes, you have interfaces, you have arrays. If you remember, we uh, discussed a little bit about strings in the previous video. So these fall under these kind uh, classes category. Generally, when people say is uh, a string a data type, yes, it is uh, a kind of a referenced uh, non-primitive data type. It is not a primitive data type. So uh, typically, when we understand of any coding language with object-oriented programming in nature, generally the primitive data types are considered to be the ones which are the data types. But since it is a model language, we are moving ahead. So strings fall under this category. So as of now, we will discuss mostly on the data types in Java. And uh, if you ask me one question, which are the which are the ones which are uh, most commonly used? The most commonly used are, of course, uh, non-primitive are very, very commonly used. Okay, along with here, we mostly use int and boolean. I don't think we we hardly use char. We, we, and byte is like I've never used. Uh, short, uh, double and long are typically not used at all, but we'll discuss a little bit about uh, each of them. Okay. Okay, guys, now let's go back to our Eclipse and uh, start using these uh, data types in, in real time scenario. Okay, if you remember, this was uh, the uh, project which we created yesterday, uh, Learning Java. And I created a small uh, package here and this was the code which we wrote yesterday. So today we'll write uh, another class. So we'll write new class and we'll mention it uh, data types underscore in underscore java okay and today we will uh, in, in this particular program we will uh, mention a lot of comments so that it will become easier because this is for the first time which we are doing it so let's first concentrate on the primitive data types so we will go with the primitive data types first and primitive data types the most important is generally int uh, there are a lot int as it suggests is referring to the integer value of it so let's say for example you write int i equal to 100 okay this works absolutely fine let's say for example i want to introduce something uh, without a number without an integer i'll write something like abc this will this will return error an error it will not work let's say for example i make it alphanumeric will it work no it will not work so this suggests that int, int is int as a data type is only capable of accommodating integer values and not anything else. Now, if you remember uh, CISO, system dot out dot println, and I am using i here. Okay. Let's run this. Let's see the output. C value is 12 now yesterday there was a discussion wherein i said ki, uh, even if it is a string then you have to mention within double quotes but if it is a number you can uh, you know directly enter it see here integer i is already a variable which has 
an instantiation of the number 12 so you can use it directly i you need not use double quotes here because if you use double quotes it will not show any sort of an error but it will not print 12 it will print i rather let me save this and if you run this it will print i because whatever lies inside the double quotes that is the one which gets printed out in form of string so if you want the value of i you have to remove these double quotes i'm getting a call once again okay now let's resume sorry for the delay and now let's say for example i'm just moving changing the value of i is equal to 20 here okay and then i again print the value of i so what will be the output here the output will be 12 will be printed here and 20 will be printed here let's say for example i remove this the first printout statement so now will it become will it take 12 or will it take 20 that is the question let's see let's find out it will mark 20 because the value of i from the first position to the second position has changed so it will take the latest position here it will take the latest value so the output will be 20 let's say for example i write int again this will not be accepted because you cannot initialize the uh, data type with the same name again okay you can just change the value because it has already been declared here once you cannot you, you can make it i equal to 30 here okay and then run this program this will print 30 you can keep changing as many let's say for example let's try something in you know in the negative decimals sorry uh, in negative integers it will still work the latest uh, the latest declaration of uh, the uh, data type will work but it will not allow you to initialize again that is uh, that is so this is uh, int is over now let's move on to uh, something else so now we will go ahead with the data type so now let's go with double of course so what exactly double is if uh, double is actually it's back it's it's uh, it's range is uh, its value range is uh, quite long it's typically unlimited to be uh, uh, to be honest it's it's quite long there is no limitation to the decimal value it and the double data type is generally used for decimal values it's just like float but it is uh, mostly used for decimal values and uh, the data type should also be used for very precise values so uh, double is mostly used for precision in any sort of coding uh, let's say for example uh, currency right so we, we, we give something uh, exactly in two uh, decimal places like uh, 100 rupees and 51 pesa so in, 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 in that scenario we use uh, double so let's see double d is equal to 100.54 oh my god where am I typing 154 so this will work absolutely fine uh, let's print the value of the same d see it's printing 154 uh, can i change it to so many like that save it let's print it will still work fine so that's uh, mostly the beauty of it now let's talk about the one which is also very very important it is boolean and what does exactly uh, boolean do boolean is uh, boolean data type is used to store only two possible values two possible values what are they simple true or false okay this data type is used for simple flags that you know they are typically they are having either one or zero so either it's a true condition or it is a false condition 
so the boolean data type uh, is actually it has one bit of information that is either true or false and uh, its size size is uh, size cannot be determined to be honest there is no size verification for boolean type so let's see boolean b equal to true now let's say i will try to do a little bit of tampering let's let's first do the normal thing okay let's see the printout okay it's working fine uh, now let's check with false will it work yes it will the output is false now i am introducing an integer here will it work no it will throw an error i am in, i am introducing uh, something for a character will it work no it throws an error so i am introducing something known as a uh, string will it work no it will not it will throw an error so as so this so hence prove that we can only use true or we can use false so we'll go with true this time see there is no error and the output is also precise so this is what you need to do about boolean now let's move on to the next data type which is uh, a char uh, character uh, so let's go with char char as the name suggests it takes a character which is only uh, which has only one parameter let's say for example a okay if i do the print out statement of this this will print a see now there is one more thing let's say for example i remove double quotes will it work no it will not that is that is the uh, coding syntax for entering a uh, character you have to put single quotes okay now let's say for example we'll become little over smart and use a string like uh, double quotes what will be the outcome no it will still not work for character you just have to use single quotes that is the coding syntax okay now let's say for example instead of one character i introduce an integer here no it will not work character means an alphabet that is uni alphabet you cannot have multi alphabets in there let's say for example i use a multiple alphabet it will still show an error so typically char character has this limitation so its usage is also very limited in selenium okay now let's move on to the next most widely used thing which is known as string string is something which we use extensively so the we will make a special video on string operations wherein i'll give you a lot of examples and lot of actual workarounds in strings and also with time when you get to learn and go into selenium deeper you'll get to know the usage of strings and the application of strings and what is the vivacious effect of strings on coding in selenium so let's let's do something like uh, str1 we will say my name is oh god my keyboard is misbehaving okay my name is uh, string okay save it we'll do the sysop of str1 see the name is getting printed now we'll act smart and we will try to you know put it in single quotes you will see that error will still error will not go because string has to be in double quotes that is the mandate that is the coding syntax of strings now can I, can i introduce a number inside it yes it will work can i you introduce special characters inside it yes it will work so string is something which is very useful and very helpful so these are the data types which you will be mostly commonly working in java and learning these and these are the ones the string operations and uh, the int and boolean these are the ones which will give you a lot of conditional outputs uh, 
so these are the ones which you need to focus on and learn you will find a lot of articles if you want to go in depth and find find about the range and the uh, okay i'll give you as an as uh, as a homework you can do this you can find the range of each data type okay and you can uh, you can also find the practical usage oh god my keyboard is missing me practical usage of strings of of data types so you can just uh, you can find in google there are a lot of articles you will get to know so you can take this as an exercise and you can learn on your own of course no one will no one in an interview will ask you what is the range and all but let's say for example you write such a huge number it will not accept because see if you throw it is out of range you you hover the mouse on it, it will it is out of range so there are there are certain ranges even in negative uh, numbers also there is a range you cannot uh, write something which is out of range even in negative or in the positive perspective there is a certain range i do not remember exactly but if you can google you can find it nobody will ask in an interview what is the range of this particular data type uh, maybe they last maybe not not especially to it to freshers they might but not to uh, experienced people but anyways i hope you like the session please practice i have just given one example of each you can go on and you know i have introduced int i here wherein i just mentioned uh, the change in the value let's say for example uh, if you want to use another uh, integer declaration like int j will it work let's say int j equal to 12 will it throw an error no it will not throw an error now let's say for example you want to print the value of j yes it will work if you if you if you take the print out see the value of j is 12 here it shows the only thing is you cannot you now you can also change the value of j equal to 24 or something like that it will still work but the thing is you cannot redeclare the same variable again that is what java doesn't allow so so that's mostly it anyways so just have a look at this i hope you like the session i am signing out please uh, subscribe to my channel uh, uh, automation hub sathak and thanks a lot